In this quick, complete NinjaTrader tutorial video, I'm gonna share with you guys all the necessities you need to get NinjaTrader up and running. Now, one of the problems you're gonna face is when you open up NinjaTrader, you are not gonna be welcome with a chart like this. Instead, you're gonna be staring at the control panel. Now, the control panel looks just like this. This is very important. This is where all the magic takes place. This is, you're gonna to wanna to be very, very familiar with this screen. Now, we're gonna start off in right under here where it says Sim 101. We wanna right click on that and we wanna to go to edit account. Now, once we do that, it'll populate this screen right here. And this is going to be important. One, we can set the initial cash value. So how much cash do you want in your SIM account? So you go ahead and put that number in right there. If you want to simulate a thousand dollar account, 2000, whatever the case may be under commissions, you want to go to the drop down and select Ninja Trader lifetime as this will simulate lifetime or this will simulate live commissions as if you were trading live. So when you're going back and back testing, that is going to be very important. The next th next parameter you want to change is going to be risk go ahead and set this to ninja trader default and then you want to click ok now one other thing i want to mention from this screen let's say you've already been trading with your sim account and you want to reset the value you just simply click right over here under reset and it'll reset this sim account or if you want to start with a different you know initial account val uh, value you can do the same the very same thing now next, you're probably wondering, okay, so how do we get a chart on the screen? Right under here from the new tab, we go ahead and select that. And from the drop down menu, we go right here where it says chart, you click on that, it brings up a window that looks like this. Now, if you wanna trade, let's say the NASDAQ, you type in NQ, and it'll bring you up a couple different options or you can click futures right there. And I'm just gonna double click on NQ. From here, we can set, you know, do we want a five minute chart, a one minute chart? I'm gonna put this to five minutes, and now I'm gonna click okay. Now that we have a chart set up, one, one thing you'll notice is we have a lot of grid lines. Maybe this is distracting. And also, if we look, price is right next to the right side margin. From this screen, we want to right click, come right over here to properties. Now, from the properties tab, we can go right here where it says grid lines horizontal, and we can simply click visible if you want no grid lines, or you can change the color, the vertical grid lines as well. We can click right on there, and I'm going to go ahead and unselect that. You can change the grid line to whatever color you would like. Boom, we no longer have any grid lines. If you want the chart back down, background color, something else, maybe lime green. Woo, that's a little bit bright. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that back to black. And then I'm gonna click apply. Okay, now we can see the chart background is, is black. Now, one thing you can see, right side margin, I'm gonna go ahead and by default, I usually have mine at 50. Click apply and you can see it gives us a little bit more room over to the right side. If you want even more, you can go with a higher number, let's say 100. And you can see it creeps um, pushing the chart further and further to the left. So you have a little bit more space and you don't get so stressed out as you're on the right edge of the screen. Now let's talk about zoom. Once you're in on a chart, you can either zoom out or zoom in by just simply left clicking down here on the time axis and moving your mouse left to right. Now over here on the price scale, you can left click on that and you can drag it up and down so you can scrunch the chart up more or you can expand the chart out. Now to get it back to default, you just simply click the F button. I don't know if it stands for fix it, but we call it the, the fix it button. You click the fix it button and everything goes back to scale. Now when we look at the different candle types, if we come right over here, you can see that we can click click a box candle, we can click hollow candles, we can click mountain, all kinds of other fun stuff. I'm gonna leave this on candle. However, we can also right click and go to data series. In data series, this will open up more properties. Under the minute, we can go to tick charts, volume charts, day charts, month charts, Hakanashi, Rinko, and other, other chart types would be found within that parameter. So I'm gonna leave that right there. Also, if you wanna change the time of, on your chart, you can go from the drop down menu right here. And let's say that you only have a couple different, you know, certain time frames that you like. Or let's say that you have a custom time frame that you like. You can go right here to configure and under minute, I'm going to go to add. And let's go ahead and we're going to add a two minute chart. I'm going to go to click OK and then click OK once again. Now you'll notice from the drop down menu under minutes, I can go right here and click on two. Now I have a two minute chart. However, a quick little tip as well. You could also simply type five. Why, why the chart is highlighted, the letter M, which stands for minute, boom, hit enter. Now we have a five minute chart. If you want a 10 minute chart, type in 10 M, boom, we have a 10 minute chart, so on and so forth. I'll put this back over to the one minute chart. Now let's come over here to drawing tools. One, you can find a lot of the drawing tools right over here in your drop down, or you can put them onto hotkeys. Another way you can do this is right click, go over here to indicators. Now the next thing we can do is we can right click on the chart, 
come to indicators, come down to where it says drawing tools light, double click that. So it comes right down here on the, under that box. And once you double click, once you double click it and it's in the box over here, you come right over here where it says drawing tools and you can highlight all the different drawing techniques that maybe you would use, click apply. And now what it does is it'll put it right over here on the edge of your, of your window. And I believe you can just take this and you can move it wherever you want it on your chart. So let's say I want to draw this, right? Boop, click that. Now let's say that I want to draw right like this. I want to draw a line and so on and so forth. That can all be found right there. Me personally, I prefer to, prefer to use hotkeys for my drawing objects. Now to remove the drawing objects off the chart, left click on the, on the drawing object, then right click, go to remove and it can remove one object. Let's say that we drew multiple things on the chart. Maybe we had some Fibonacci levels and such. We can hit right click on the mouse, go over here where it says drawing tools, all the way down at the bottom and we can go to remove all drawing objects. Now, one thing I will tell you is I would highly encourage you guys, I'm gonna draw some more things on the chart to go ahead and put this on a hot key. So for me, I can just simply click a hot key, bink, and boom, all the drawing objects are removed off of my chart. Now let's talk about linking charts. One thing we can do, we're gonna duplicate this chart right here. I'm gonna simply go to the bottom and click duplicate and new window. From here, you can see we have two identical charts. I'm gonna put one of these charts onto a 10 minute chart. And one thing we can do, we can come right over here to these boxes right here. And I'm gonna link the instrument. I'm gonna put this as red. I'm gonna come over here, put this one as red. Now what you'll notice, if I come over on the chart, type in ES09-23, you can see that both charts now switch to the S&P. So you can change the symbol on one chart and it changes across both of the charts. Now, one of my favorite features is gonna be Chart Trader. We can find that from the, the icon right up here. Click on that, turn on Chart Trader. Now we can just use the buttons over here to enter and exit the market. So now let's talk about the ATM strategies. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna create a custom ATM strategy right there. I'm gonna click on edit. And what I'm gonna do is just put one contract. We'll put a, a eight tick stop and we'll just, or a seven tick stop and we'll do a seven tick take profit we click OK. Now what I want to show you about this and I am in sim account. Do not try this in a live account. And then you simply just we're going to hit buy market. Now one thing you'll notice is we have a take profit and we have a stop loss both set up. So if either of these orders are hit, if we come down and we get stopped out, it will remove the take profit order. If the take profit is hit, then the market will come down and remove the stop loss order. What I'll do is I'll just bring this in a little bit, see if we can get one tick on the trade, one tick on the trade, or I'll move this up a little bit as well. And we'll see do we get stopped out now you can see we got stopped out then the take profit order is now gone now if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial you can simply come right over to my youtube page just type in mike swartz or epitome trading and go under playlist you can see the ninja trader 8 playlist right here and I have a lot of videos. I have at least 22 different videos at the time of recording this video where I go deeper into some of the subjects within NinjaTrader. 